up guys, Taylor Mears here with All Day Training. As you can see, I'm in my home away from home neutral shop with my good friend, Brett, Hick Brett Hickey. And today, we're gonna keep it really short and sweet. But what I wanted to do was give you a few tips in a short amount of time, little things you can follow that will help make you more successful, or as I like to say, do damage control on Thanksgiving Day. So Brett, first question. As far as the uh, eating those, most people I seem to think that if they consume far less calories the rest of the day by skipping meals, by skipping breakfast, skipping early lunch, that by taking those calories out, they're actually doing themselves a favor as far as uh, when they take in all those calories later on, not having any um, bad effects. What would you say to those people? I would not recommend not eating throughout the day leading up to a big meal. It's similar to when you go grocery shopping on an empty stomach and you're not supposed to do that because you end up buying everything in the store and things that you don't need as well. So same goes for if you have a big meal in the afternoon, if you're completely empty tank, uh, it's just gonna be a lot easier to fill up on sweets and overeat a lot of things uh, just because you're gonna be so hungry by the time you make it to that meal. But you still recommend having the caloric deficit, so how would you suggest doing that? So what I recommend, let's say Thanksgiving meals in the afternoon, what I would recommend to kind of if you really want to stay fit, stay healthy, you've been eating well, you're getting great results and you want to keep that going, one thing you can do is you want to make sure you eat protein throughout the day. Protein is really important because it keeps you feeling more full than any other nutrient. And so eat that protein, eat the veggies, it's going to keep you feeling full. That way when you get to the meal, the big meal, you're not going to overeat. Uh, but what you can do is usually uh, the the big Thanksgiving meal has a lot of calories in it, a lot of carbs in it, a lot of fat in it from the butter, potatoes, things like that, the pies. So what you can do is kind of create a deficit earlier in the day leading up to that large meal. What that means is, is that you can go light for the meals throughout the day. So focus on protein and veggies, really watch the carb intake, the fat intake, and have those calories later in the day because the total amount of calories you eat through for a day is more important than the meals that you eat them. So saving those calories for that big meal from the carbs and the fat is going to be an effective way to just not go over your calorie limits for the day. What about in the in the actual Thanksgiving meal itself? What would be one tip you would have for someone to keep them from overeating uh, during the Thanksgiving meal itself? Number one tip for not overeating during the meal is eat protein first. So eat the turkey or the ham first. Protein is the most filling thing you can eat and so you're just not going to be as full, you're going to feel more full to where you're not you're just not going to be overeating the potatoes and the butter, the heavy fat items as well and the pies. Okay. As far as exercise goes, we have a lot of exercise enthusiasts out there, they're few and far between, but for those that are out there that do plan to train that day, any recommendations for the way they train, um, how they train around the Thanksgiving Day meal that will actually help them be more successful or use those valuable nutrients? So if you like to work out, no reason you can't work out on Thanksgiving Day, especially if you really enjoy it. So, you know, one, one of the times of the day that you, you can go a little bit higher calorie in your meals is post-workout. After a workout, your body is really primed to suck up nutrients uh, into the muscle, especially carbs, uh, versus shuttling those nutrients to fat stores. So, you know, if you can get a workout in with weights or resistance about two or three hours before Thanksgiving meal and, and maybe make that... Thanksgiving dinner, your post-workout meal, it's going to be really effective for making sure all those extra calories are really going towards muscle as opposed to being stored as fat. Um, another strategy you can do is just work out any time that day, you know, especially like sprints, high intensity workouts. Uh, if you did one of those in the morning, you know, research shows that sprints and high intensity interval workouts boost your metabolism for 24 or 48 hours, so you're going to be burning more calories throughout the day, kind of lessen the effects of that later big Thanksgiving meal. Okay, well, that's great for the, I don't know, 10%. Uh, but what about the other 90% of uh, the population that says, you're crazy, there's no way I'm gonna work out on Thanksgiving Day or at least go to the gym. As far as activity goes, what would you say are the best activities um, to keep their calorie burning high to offset all that calorie intake? The simple answer to that is uh, just move, be active on Thanksgiving Day. So you don't have to be, go to the gym, a lot of them are closed. You don't have to do that heavy workout, it's a holiday after all. And if you just don't really, if you really want to just take the day off, one thing I would recommend is just being active. So that could be flag football with the family, uh, playing some sports with the kids, uh, walking around the neighborhood after the meal. All that activity is just going to ex burn extra calories. 
So go for a, a walk with the family, walk the dogs, take the kids out, play ultimate frisbee, just little things like that. Spend time with the family while you're still getting all that general activity. In. Absolutely. Anytime you're moving, you're going to be burning calories. All right, guys, you heard it. Those are easy tips that you can follow if you want to keep the damage control uh, in place. So thanks a lot. Um, please leave only nice comments on Twitter. I want to thank Brett and uh, Jesse, my cameraman. Um, you can find a lot of their information. They do offer a newsletter with information like this. Um, just sign up for the newsletter when you, next time you come in Nutri Shop. You can also find them on Instagram and Facebook. That's it for us this week. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.